Hello, in this video we are going to take a look what Tether USDT is. So as a resource I'm going to use Investopedia, I like their articles, I like their style of writing, I think it's really legit. The, this article is by Jake Frankenfield, uh, shout out to Jake, shout out to Investopedia, go check them out. But let's start here. So definition of Tether, so I'm going to um, read some of this to you um, and I know that a lot of people don't like to read, so I'm going to read some of this to you and then I'm going to throw in my own conclusions and my own insights about Tether. So let's go. So Tether is a blockchain-based cryptocurrency whose uh, crypto coins in circulation are backed by an equivalent uh, amount of tradi traditional fiat currencies like dollar, euro or Japanese yen, which are held in a designed bank account. Tether tokens, the native tokens of the Tether network, trade under the USDT symbol breaking down Tether, so what, what so basically what Tether is. So Tether belongs to a new breed of cryptocurrency, cryptocurrencies called stable coins that aim to keep the currency valuation stable as opposed to the wide swings observed in the prices of other popular cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. That would allow it uh, to be used as a medium of exchange and a mode, mode of uh, storage of value instead of being used as medium of, of speculative investment. So it, it's like, you know, um, you can store as, uh, as uh, in Tether USDT if you want to, st uh, if you want, uh, uh, to keep the value of your money. Uh, because if you like hold Ethereum, it can or Bitcoin it can drop, but uh, the other is stable coin, so it's always one dollar. Uh, that specif uh, specifically belongs to the category of fiat collateralized stable coins. That is a fiat currency like the US dollar, the euro, or yen, back uh, backs each each crypto coin in circulation. Other stable coin categories include crypto correlation stable coins, which use cryptocurrency reserves as collateral, and or non collateralized stable coins, which don't have any collateral but operate in a way similar to that of a reserve bank to maintain the necessary support of tokens depending on the economic situation. The other was specifically designed to build the necessary bridge between fiat currencies and cryptocurrencies and offer stability, transparency and minimal transaction charges to the users. It is backed against the US dollar and maintains a one to one ratio with the US dollar in terms of value. However, there is no guarantee provided by Desert LDD for any rights to redemption or exchange of debtors for real money. That is, debtors cannot be exchanged for US dollars. According to CryptoCombat data seeded by the Wall Street Journal, 80% of all Bitcoin trading is done in Tether. The, uh, and the stable coin is a major source of liquidity for the cryptocurrency market. Tether was launched as real coin in July for, to, uh, 2014 and was rebranded as Tether in November uh, by uh, Tether LTD. So this uh, article was written in 2009, so it was um, rebranded um, November 2009. Uh, to a company that is responsible for maintaining the reserve amounts of fiat currency, uh, it started trading in February 2015. So here's about the controversy. In November 2017, it was allegedly hacked with 20, uh, 31 million worth of tether coins stolen, after which a hard work was performed. So 21 million worth of tether coins was stolen. In January 2018, it hit another holder as the necessary audit to ensure that the real world reserve is maintained never took place. Instead, it announced it was part, uh, parting ways with the audit firm, after which it was issued a, a subpoena by regulators. <coughs> Worries about whether the company, accused of a lack of transparency, has enough in reserves to back the coin have been pervasive. So we don't know if they actually even back the USDT. Because you can't uh, change USDT to USD. In April 2019, uh, New York Attorney General uh, Le uh, Letitia James accused iPhoenix, the parent company of Tether LTD, an operator of cryptocurrency exchange Bitfinex, of hiding a loss of $850 million of co mingled client and co corporate funds from investors. Court rings say these funds were given to a Panama Panamanian entity called Crypt Capital Corp without a contract or agreement to handle customers' uh, withdrawal requests. Bitfinex allegedly took at least $700 million from Tether's cash reserves to hide the gap after the money went missing. In a statement, the company said the filings. the filings were written 
in bad faith and are riddled with false assert uh, assertions. On the contrary, uh, we have been informed that these crypto capital amounts are not lost but have been in fact seized and safeguarded. We are and have been actually working to exercise our rights and remedies and get those funds released. Sadly, the New York Attorney General's office seems to be intent on undermining those efforts to the detriment, to the, to the detriment of our customers. So that is what they said. The other token can be uh, transacted uh, on popular cryptocurrency exchanges that include Binance, Binance, <laughs> Binance Coinspot, Bitfinex and Kraken. You know? So here is the free stock simulator. So yeah, so that was it. So that is Dither uh, USDT. So definition of Dither. So it's just basically uh, non, <laughs> or we can't verify if it's USD backed, but it's it's supposed to be USD backed uh, a currency that is one that has one to one relation to US uh, dollar USD. But anyway, uh, go check out the video. They have awesome articles. They have awesome knowledge. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.